Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechaha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. Mr. Brother Isaac, you with the Pittsburgh GMS camp. Coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechaha Kodash. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Let me place this phone up here. It's lucky. All right. Um, you know, I was coming home from work and I uh, just seen this billboard and it said, uh, <coughs> you know, it said, you know, of course the world calls uh, Yahweh Shai. They call him Jesus Christ. And it said, you know, Jesus Christ is coming soon. Eternity, uh, the time is short, but eternity is long, you know. And uh, as I saw that, you know, I was thinking to myself, well, you know, they got the name wrong, of course. His name's not Jesus, his name's Yahweh Shai. But I was like, you know, he is, you know, Yahweh Shai is coming back. That's true. All right. And uh, the time is running short, okay. With everything that's happening in this world, all the prophecies coming to pass, the time for lollygagging and bullcrapping around is running short. All right, you see? You know, there's a scripture, I believe it's in Isaiah 65, if I'm not mistaken, or I, can, I could be wrong, I'm bad with numbers sometimes, as far as, you know, stuff like that. But anyway, uh, the scripture says, seek ye the Lord while he may be found call ye upon him while he is near let the wicked man forsake his ways and the unrighteous man his thoughts <coughs> all right and turn unto your how about shimia because you know the lord will uh will forgive you all right now i could like i said the location i'm quite sure is the wrong location i know it's in isaiah nevertheless that's the spirit that we're supposed to be in you know if you haven't already repented and now is the time to repent okay because Yahweh Shai is coming back. And when he comes back, if you're not found on the right side, <coughs> if you're not found on the right list, so to speak, then you will be destroyed, okay? You know, the scripture talks about that, that all them whose name is not written in the book will be destroyed, okay? And we want to have our names written in the book, to write the book of life, the Lamb's book of life, okay? We want to be acknowledged as a part of the one third in the elect. Okay, if you're a man, you know, that's a, you know, you, you strive to want to be a prophet so you can be a part of the 144,000. All right, and if you're a woman, you know, you, you pray and you do the things you may do that you may be, you know, the wife of a prophet and you know, so on and so forth. A part of that great multitude, that one third that will be part of the first dominion. All right. So this is what we're striving after, okay? Is that rulership, you know? Now, nevertheless, all of the Israelites will be in rulership, okay? Whether you was a two-third or whatever, okay? But the difference is between the one-third, all right, and the two-thirds is there's going to be a hierarchy, all right? The one-third, okay, the precious one-third reserved, all right, are going to be blessed beyond measure. You know, the scriptures tell you that them that be uh, them that turn many to righteousness shall shine as the firmament of, of, of the heavens. <coughs> okay, you have some people that in the kingdom they will be like gods, and then you have the average people in the kingdom that will be likened unto King David. <laughs> They will only be given the level of power that King David had, which was, don't get me wrong, was a, which was a great, a great power. Okay? But then you have those that will be likened unto gods. Okay? Because what? Because they turned many to righteousness because they were of the elect. All right? The scriptures say he sent for many fishers and then he, well, he sent for many hunters. All right? Those that will be able to be those hunters are the elect. <coughs> So 
there is something to strive for. <clears throat> All right? The scriptures say that them that had a chance to repent and they didn't repent, what's going to happen to them? They're going to know that they did the wrong thing after they die painfully. The same must know it after death by pain. You ain't going to just get away scot-free. You're going to die a horrible death at the hand of the king of terrors. Okay? Because you love wickedness, man. You know? And sometimes, man, sometimes you, you get uh, reminded, you know, of why the Lord's going to kill certain people, man. Because sometimes you, you find yourself like uh, maybe getting like a little relaxed or comfortable. You know what I'm saying? A little bit. You know? Because at the job, it was a little slow today. You know, I tried to get the dude to let me go do some more work. You know, or find somewhere, find some more work in another section. But he, he wanted, he wanted to run his mouth. So, and now uh, he looked like an Edomite, but you know, I think he might be a Jake. You know what I'm saying? So I really do think he might be a Jake because we get along pretty decently. You know, and I'm like, yeah, he might be a Jake. But anyway, you know. So you know, he just telling me all his little stories and stuff. You know, I'm going with it. I'm letting them tell me the story. They was kind of entertainment. The time was passing. Then he gets to talking about all oh, his cigarettes and <coughs> his brother smoking his weed. And I'm just thinking to myself, I don't give a fuck about none of this shit, nigga. Yo, bitch ass shouldn't be smoking. And neither should your motherfucking brother. I don't give a fuck if he mad he ain't got no weed. He's going to be real mad in the time to come, nigga, because he ain't going to have shit. You know, I'm just like, fuck this, fuck this place, man. But, you know. These niggas roaming around doing their little nigga shit, they're gonna get to, they're not gonna get to um, know what it feels like to be a part of the one third. Uh, you know what I mean? They're not gonna know. They're gonna live. What does scripture say? Scripture say the righteous shall suffer the straight things and hope for the wide. For the wicked have suffered the straight things and yet shall not see the wide. <coughs> right? So everybody's gonna suffer, okay, these um, these straight and narrow in the positions of difficulty, but not for the same reward. You know, when, when you get that analogy in Second Edges, it tells you how can a man, you know, uh, go unto the, to the city to look upon it and to rule over it if he enter not the broad pathway to get into it. How you gonna go into the, the, the vast ocean, <coughs> you know, if you ain't go through the tiny river first? Now, even when you think about that analogy, <coughs> when you have a vessel and you're going through a narrow passageway, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of things you gotta be worried about, okay? There could be varying depths. You gotta worry about is the bottom of your uh, vessel too deep? Is there maybe some rocks or something in there? You might hit a patch that's too low, you know, and then you might get a dent in your in your in the you might get a a, a hole in the in the crack of, a crack in the hole of your boat. Now water's coming in your shit. You know what I'm saying? Because you hit a you hit a part of the the, the narrow river. Okay, that uh, well the, the water level's a little low today. It's a drought, so the water level's low. So now. You're just low enough to, to scrape that rock. And now you now your boat can't move until you fixed it. You know what I'm saying? This is what it's like to be on this path uh, of, of this uh, of the elect to be called into this thing. That's why the scriptures say give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Okay, because this is a this is a path that takes attending to and mindfulness. That's why it warns you about. Uh, preparing your soul for temptation when you come to serve the Lord because it's a very difficult thing, all right? It's not just easy. <laughs> Peter tells you that. Or you're like, look, beloved, thinking that strange of the fiery trial which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. Don't think about it. Don't think it's strange. This ain't strange, you know? <clears throat> this ain't strange. You know, so, uh, Weird ass shit up here. <clears throat> uh, you know, 
so with that being said you know we 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 are on the pathway i'm trying to be a, a part of the elect and that comes with certain rites of passage that you have to go through okay it comes with having to do certain things in order to uh receive that reward all right Two-thirds ain't gonna just get to stroll up in there like they hot shit. Okay, they go. They said that uh some shall awake to everlasting shame and contempt. Alright? Two-thirds ain't gonna just be living it up ha 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 happy with everybody else. They're gonna be they're gonna be pissed off at themselves for a space of time, okay? Because they had a chance, man. You know, for all intents and purposes. Alright, you you know. <clears throat> The majority of these people heard, you know, this truth and they rejected it. All right. And then they end up getting a uh, they reward for such actions. <coughs> you know, so, I mean, when I saw that, you know, I was like, yeah, that's, you know, that's true. You know, there's certain things that people enjoy here that many of us once enjoyed and once did. You know that we grow to hate and we grow to have disgust for and we hate and we're mad you know i'm i pissed i get pissed at myself and at my own flesh forever doing these things man you know what i'm saying forever being given unto certain things you know certain things that brothers may have or sisters may have given themselves to you know when they were in the world <clears throat> the scriptures say hate thou abomination vehemently you know it pisses me off to the point where i'm like i don't want to talk about this shit motherfucker you know what i'm saying I don't i don't want to hear your 30 minute long story about fucking cigarettes and weed and shit nigga i'm not finna laugh with that i'm not i ain't even respond to the shit i got pissed you know because fuck this place you know fuck this place fuck this flesh all right but what this is the condition of the battle, okay? It really wasn't nothing but spirits, man, because that dude knew he could have let me go to another section. But, you know, I seen, what, I seen what it was and how it played out as he kept talking like, okay, that spirit on him didn't want me to let me go so that they could sit up here and talk this, talk about this bullshit, you know? I don't want to talk about this shit, you know? Like, nigga, you could have let me go in the other section and go do some actual work, you know what I'm saying, instead of watching you do this work. Man, nigga just had me watching them work. I'm like, God damn. It ain't shit over here to do, bro. Let me, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Let me go over here and help these people out. He want to keep me over there. The demon want to keep me over there so I can listen to this bitch ass story. <sighs> okay? We need your Howard Shot, man, to get up out of here. You know? We vexed with the filthy conversation of these motherfuckers, man. I don't want to hear your filthy conversation, man. Your fucking abominable fucking conversations, man. I don't give a shit. All right. All we worried about is getting the fuck up out of here, handling our little business that we got to handle while we're here. Because that's what we got to do. You know, we, we ain't concerned about the shit you, you motherfuckers is concerned about, man. Your cigarettes and. You know, fuck that shit, man. It pissed me off, you know, it pissed, pissed me off, man. I don't even want to talk about the shit. You know, because you, the way your mind thinks when you hear certain shit, the way your flesh is, you know, the flesh is wise to do evil, man. <laughs> and I find the type of person I am, I find when I see certain things, I tend to find, try to find uh, solutions to certain problems, man. That just how the Lord, the spirit, the Lord got on me. I'll see something wrong and I'll be like, oh, I wonder why is that? Why is that way or this way? And I'll try to come up with solutions to the problem and so this motherfucker's telling me his story and i'm thinking the perfect solutions to his problem but i'm like fuck that problem i don't give a fuck if your cigarette is this way fuck that cigarette nigga you know meanwhile the flesh is like he can fix it man fuck i don't give a fuck how he can fix that shit you know this shit this time this place this shit gotta end man this shit gotta end all right, but we have to endure until that end. All right, and the Lord just <laughs> he he always throws something at you to 
<coughs> to keep you on edge, man. <coughs> you know? To keep you on edge, like, man, fuck this place. You know? You get sick of hearing this wickedness, man. This whole place is through. But anyway, so like you, you know, for that rent, you know, rent shit. Hey, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. I'm going to give all honor, glory, and praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rechah HaKodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopefully elect. With that, I want to say Shalom, Wa Baba Ba. Shalom.